Welcome to the Inner Circle. Here at Craft Council, we want to introduce you to the world of craft and indie beers. Here, we are going to show you lots of hidden gems from all around the world, but we will also be showing you lots of our personal favourites too. We'd like to tell you not only about the beers, but about the people and the breweries behind them. It's our first ever vlog, so we thought it best to bring you not only a brewery that's close to our hearts, but also close to our home. Uh, they're from Cheltenham. They are called Dea. Oh, there we go. Dea, right there. We visited their tap room as well, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we did that on Friday. Um, really nice vibe. Um, blues playing in the background. Have we shown them a can? We, well, we, we have. Did. We, we, we will show you the can in a second, but here is, you know, you, you've got a taste of some of the artwork there. But they had a huge, it was probably like 20 feet by 10 feet. Just this big, big painting with a beer right in the middle. I yeah. loved it. It focus on the beer. Focus on the beer. Um, everyone was having a great time. Beer was flowing. Pizzas yeah. were being cooked. Yep. Fun was had. We'll be going again. Why don't you go? Not elsewhere. We don't want to send you away. No. We, we, want, we want to bring you in and embrace you. Join the council. Uh, I was actually chatting to the, uh, the owner of the brewery, Theo. Great guy. Uh, really got his head screwed on. He's been um, working in breweries all, all around the UK, but also did an internship over at Odell Brewery over in the States. I'm sure lots of you uh, keen craft drinkers know about Odell very well. He's really embraced the American culture behind craft brewing and indie brewing, and he's brought that over here, and voila, hey presto, we have Dale Brewery. Yeah, that makes complete sense. I think that one of their beers, Rolling Steady Man, isn't that a song? Right, yeah, and they, they basically set up the brewery listening to lots of um, blues music from America while you know building the flavours and uh, recipes for you know their current and future beer lines. I love blues. I love blues and I love beers. It's a perfect combo. Perfect combo. I think we should go on from Dea to talking about the beer that we're going to review today, which is called Caladia. I think, I think it's a wonderfully looking beer. Um, it's quite it's quite striking. I love the artwork. Um, if you go to the website, um, it's also similar. We need to get the name of this guy, but um, we'll find out who, what his name is. He's a mystery guy at the moment. He's a mystery at the moment. Yeah, the artwork is resonant throughout, you know, the, the, the entire brand, and um, it's you know I've not seen I've not seen anything you know quite like it before. It's really funky, really modern, and I like the fact that currently they they only distribute cans which are a one litre massive beastly cans that are the size of my head. Where do you get that? Where do you, where else do you get that? They're actually going to do a canning line, which is smaller, 500 mils. Without further ado. <laughs> I'll film myself first, thanks very much. <laughs> Serve yourself first. Serve yourself first. I do you like how you that. poured more into your glass as well. Did I? Oh. You are a bigger man, so. It looks quite um, carbonated on, on the face of it, but when you drink it, and I know this when you drink it, and it's not actually that fizzy. So as you can see, as we come away from the carbonation, we've got quite a cloudy, uh, a cloudy ale there, light, like medium light consistency. It's it's sort of a light, light golden pale ale. Yeah, I, I think I would agree with that. It's um, I like the golden colour. The way that they actually make it, they don't filter, they don't pasteurise um, their beers. Which is which is you know brilliant. It keeps it keeps a lot of the natural flavors. It doesn't take anything away. We were talking about this earlier. Um, it's a really forward-thinking move. Suitable for for vegans as well. They don't take anything away. Like I said, you you they keep all the proteins. You keep everything in there, so you you don't lose any flavor. It's it's the kind of beer that if I saw on a glass on a summer's day, I'd be thinking that's that's gonna look really refreshing. To today, today and the craft council and tomorrow. Oh yes. Yeah. I. Mm. That's a beautiful taste. <laughs> I like that a lot. In terms of flavour, you get the initial kick of the hops, but it's not overpowering. It's really light. It's really crisp. When it hits your tongue, you definitely feel a little bit of bitterness, and then you're left with the citrusy grapefruit. Grapefruit, yeah, tropical grapefruit, citrus. I wouldn't go as far to say as, as like pineapple or anything like that. A lot of sharp flavours in there. Very well rounded, very well balanced. Really nice wheaty body that, that just lingers afterwards. It's in the mould of the type of beer that I really enjoy. If we're going to talk about Daya's philosophy, it's freshness, flavour and aroma 
they've absolutely fucking nailed it on the head. I, I fucking nailed it. <laughs> I second that. For me, this is a, a great summer session beer. It's a summer crusher designed for the beach. And it's definitely crushing it. If you want to find out where to get a beautiful day at, a one litre can, or one of the 500 ml cans, head to the website. It's dayo.com. It's not dayo.com. <laughs> it's dayo brewing. Yeah, sorry. Dayo brewing.com. These guys are based in Cheltenham. There's a few pubs that um, stock. Our favorite beers being one. Very much recommend going down to the tap room, uh, which they have open most Fridays. It's a perfect set to drink the drink. Yeah. Can't, I can't sing the praises enough about this beer. Greg, what would you... Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Well, I know what you're going to ask. It's a solid 8 out of 10. It's a beautiful summer beer. I really enjoyed it. Um, I'll be drinking this in the future. It's, it's smooth. It packs a considerable amount of punch. It's crisp. So there's a lot of flavour in there. A lot of flavour. But mm, it's not over overbearing. And it goes down nice and easy. So for me, an 8 out of 10. I'd give it a solid 8, 8.5. It's really well balanced, well bodied um, session beer that you can really enjoy with friends. It's a really enjoyable bit. Out of 10, I'd give them one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Here's today. Solid. Solid. From the council to you, we bid you adieu. Cheers. Like, comment, share. Hit up our Twitter feed. Hit up our Instagram, our Facebook page. If you've got any beers that you want us to try, please feel free to let us know. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot.